Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today I will be talking about some of the um, intraday trading um, indicators which will be really useful for your day trading. That means if you are a day trader, that means um, intraday trader, I'm sorry, uh, which means buying and selling um, on the same day, then these indicators would be very, very useful. However, uh, in addition to these indicators, you can also uh, watch my videos on open, high, low and um, open, high, low, yeah, open, high, low strategy, uh, which will be more useful for you to uh, take a decision on how it can work. So let's get started. So first uh, um, indicator would be a moving average. Now traders often hear about daily moving average, uh, which is the most common and widely used indicator. The moving average is basically a line on the stock chart that connects the average closing rates over a specific period. So the longer the period, the more reliable the moving average. Now this indicator will help you to comprehend the underlying movement of the price as prices do not move just in one direction and it's it, and volatile stocks prices can be very volatile and the moving average indicator um, makes you understand the volatility and um, understanding of the trend of the price movement. Second indicator would be Bollinger Bands. Now this intraday uh, trading indicator is one step ahead of the moving average. Now this, this particular band comprises three lines that's a moving average, an upper limit and a lower line. Now all these are representative of the stock standard deviation which is nothing but the amount by which the price increases or decreases from its average and this also provides traders an understanding about the stocks trading range <coughs> third one would be momentum oscillators now stock prices move up and down and there are short period cycles that are unrelated to the bullish or bearish market trends now in such cases it is easy for day traders to miss out on uh, such changes which is uh, when the momentum oscillator is beneficial now this indicator is depicted when uh, within within a range of 0 to 100 and uh, is advantageous when um, the price has achieved a new high or low and one wants to determine whether it will further rise or fall now in other words the momentum oscillator helps you to understand whether when the market sentiments are uh, undergoing modifications RSI relative strength uh, index the RSI is one of the most useful and used intraday um, uh, indicator to compare the share price gains and losses now this information is uh, formulated in an index form and uh, narrowing it down the RSI score ranging between 0 to 100 so the index increases uh, this index increases with price rises and vice versa so again i'm just just giving you an overview of it so i cannot get into the details of it to um, help you understand because uh, i have uh, spoken about couple of indicators like moving averages and rsi already i will have to um, create another video on on uh, the uh, momentum oscillators and bollinger bands to um, to have a better understanding on that indicator itself but these are uh, some of the indicators which you should and which you can use for for being a better intraday trader so hope you enjoyed this informative video um, if you have any questions or clarifications feel free to ask and um, i'll be happy to clarify them for you thank you and i will see you again on the next video